Hey, Redcon Trader here, and welcome back to Warhammer 40k Rogue Trader, where today we've got uh, we've got this bozo back in business, which is a, a pretty bold move considering he must have known we were still on the station. So yeah, yeah, let's uh, let's deal with this. Hey, bud. You're back. That's wonderful. What's going on here? Thought I shut this thing down. Indeed you did, but how long do you think it'll take me to catch some new ones? He smiles innocently. You know what? You're right. There's always going to be other unfortunates out there for you to exploit, aren't there? Hold that thought. Let us not dawdle. Greetings, your lordship. Yeah, shut up. There's some bozo set up shop in front of your palace. He's charging people to torture fake Xenos in cages. I want it shut down. Flodane gives a curt nod. It will be dealt with. Good. You're in deep, friend. You made some powerful people very angry. Stop. No. Wait. Ladane told us to make sure you're not seen around here again. And we will. And let that be a lesson to you. Next time, at least move your dang display. So what, do you, uh, do you guys just live here now? Yeah, yeah, that, that's probably fine. Enjoy the free rent, guys. Um, bye. Is there money to be made? Also, Anvers. You thought the Anvers were dead and gone, did you? We're immortal. I'm in charge now. I'm not as smooth at writing pamphlets as the last guy. But I'm a better shot. Is that so? Well, I'll be the judge of that. Rise to the top. I'll get left in the dust. We'll tuck into the corner here. Here we go. Now look who's here. Isn't that the bleeder who did our boss in? Knife him. Close ranks. Ban none of them. I'm glad we just uh, stood here and watched him kill that guy. It's always my favorite part of the job. We've uh, we've done some good work here today. Alright, so we've got maybe six Anvers Thugs plus Slimper Mikey. No big deal. Looks like a pretty basic warm-up. I did notice, though, uh, that as the fight started, their life bars visibly extended. I imagine that's the unfair modifiers kicking in. So, uh, so you know what? We really shouldn't take this one for granted. Between the combat balance and the difficulty hike... This might actually be deceptively deadly. Cast up first with a half turn. Oh wow, yeah, these these guys are way more durable than I'm used to. Zero chance that we one shot Mikey. Do so, not dare ask. let's trim the flank.
We'll pop the guy next to Pask, then tag Mikey with Slow and Hemorrhage. Ooh, close. That'll do it. And debuff the D-bag. Nice, nice. That's uh, about 8%. Not a bad start. And Adira. Let's get some buff set, then drop some DOTs. Let's get a zone set. Doesn't really make a difference for her, but it will for Abby. Get a better angle. Damage buff set. Get some dodge stuff going. And done. Cast with a full turn. Let's get Abby in there. I am a navigator, not a servitor. And uh, let's pull. Oh, but he only gets one swing. Yeah, I guess that's fair. A multi provoke would be pretty silly. Who's up next? Pask. Damage debuff on Mike. Running by Derek right. Get pass tank going. We'll single out this guy on left. Request approved. Nice, nice. Okay, yeah, that's Show that's fine. You yeah. oh. Minor ding on pass, no big deal. Abby procced two buffs from that one parry. Let's do some whittling. Just need to make sure Argenta gets clear after. Move through me. Be the fire in my heart. Not bad. Fall back. Yeah, why not?
Nice. I'm here, maggot. Here we go. Ugh. Out of my way. Ooh. Abby, buddy. Let's lay down some fire support. I'll make it happen. I'll see to it personally. Mikey at half. I'll make it happen. Oh, shoot. Uh, all right, fair enough. Hold their attention. Charge. Indeed. Oh. Nice try, but it's time to drop the mic. At your beck and call. Please. You insult me, child. And that is why I love knockback. Let's wrap this up. We're pretty much done. We'll go for a spillover. Hopefully take both these guys out. Oh, close. Yeah, they made him a lot beefier once we toggled up to unfair. Which is fine, you know? It uh, it gives me an actual reason to use half our fancy pants powers. Paul. I'm not accustomed to being ordered around by the fur of painted someone. black. Did Cass just drop a Rolling Stones reference? Respect. If I may. All right, Mikey, just go limp. Victory is imminent. Oh, that was satisfying. I very much enjoyed that. Also, uh, we've got a jump check up top. We should probably check that out. Outdated Anvers note. Spare chain axe. And more random acts of violence. Ah, the guy they were terrorizing was the weapon vendor. Yeah. Yeah, I guess that tracks. A shame we couldn't actually save him, but such is the curse of the cutscene. Ooh, yeah, we have uh, we have stuff up here, too. Always 
Please keep your eye on the price. Ooh, uh, what's going on here? The Vox Spirits have brought me good tidings. The Miraculous Fusion Reactor, a sacred artifact, has been delivered to the system with an escort of Electro Priests. Wondrous tidings indeed. At what time will we get to behold it so we may kneel before its splendor? and offer our prayers to the ancient spirits of the machines. The relic presently remains in the charge of House Rogue Traitor Von Valancius, who saved it from oblivion. The Rogue Traitor's conscience will decide how best to apply the reactor's potency. I will pray for the Rogue Traitor to receive a revelation from the Omnissiah that will let him find a place becoming of the great machine's mighty energies. Nice. Always appreciate a little reactivity. I've never actually saved that thing before. I am curious to see what we can actually do with it. Uh, guys? Ask? There we go. Hmm, delicious ploying juice. My favorite. And we had one more thing over here somewhere. Like pretty flowers overgrown with weeds, the halls of Footfall's former palaces and temples have been overrun by the shabby houses of present-day inhabitants. I don't know, I feel like it kind of adds to the place's charm. keep my options open unyielding vanguard boots all allies in a two cell radius around the wearer gain a plus 40 percent bonus to resolve from the unyielding beacon ability instead of the original bonus nah i'd rather keep the numa boots reduced ap cost per charge and let's go get the jump on this Let us not dawdle. Uh huh. A random cogitator to futz with for no apparent reason. Why would we not? That's how it's done. Is there money to be made? Well, that's a silly question. There is always money to be made. Such is the life of the rogue trader. Case in point. The point in case. Standard Greatsword plus Commander's Monocle. Whenever an ally under the effect of the wearer's Voice of Command ability makes an attack during an extra turn, this attack deals an additional 3 times Fellowship bonus percent damage. Is that the wearer's Fellowship or the attacker's Fellowship? Because if it keys off Cassie... That would be a whopping plus 21% damage. We'll give that a shot. And then the great sword. Oh, I see. Okay, so we're currently rocking the Rotobi pattern, which is slightly lower base damage with slightly higher pen. But we've already got the Thunder Hammer for penetration, so. So, yeah, yeah, we'll swap that out. I also need to remember to swap Abby back off to the Greatsword at the end of each turn for that parry bonus. Uh, sir? The numerous wounds and injuries indicate that this was a particularly brutal murder. The letters A and V are carved in the victim's shoulder blade. What could it mean? A and V? That could be anyone. 
Who's behind this murder most foul? I always have a backup plan. Well, I guess we'll never know. Let's get back on task. Didn't mean for us to get sidetracked quite that much. For our main task today is to head back to the Shadow Quarters and take care of Argenta's thing. Alright, let's wrap back around to where we left off last time. Just outside the Anvers' dark hideout. Already spotting more suns, I see. Always keep your eye on the price. There we go. Over. Another fake door. So we're on the right track. Yeah, there's the dark hideout. Right then, what do we have here? Double rations for you and your husband. I thought your husband kicked the bucket. So yet more evidence of chronic food shortages. I wonder if it actually clears up once we get shipments going. People in the crowds look greedily at goods for which they have neither coupons nor money. Rise to the top with us, or get left in the dust. Oh, just another sun. The indistinct hum of discontented voices hangs over the crowd. The street vendors seem to be lacking. And in their impotence, the people do not hold back their angry exclamations and curses. I always keep my options open. The Adeptus Semesicus. Under a layer of rust, scratches, and ancient paint, the silhouettes of long erased letters are barely visible. That's the local bar. Not what we're here for today. Though I do glimpse a door around the corner. Oh, and a trap. Argenta, could you please not walk through the trigger zone? I'm restless. Let's proceed. So, why was that there? <laughs> what do we have here? And here we go, Cultist Den. Let's pop on in, take these guys out. If we have time left over, we'll clear these last few streets. to the art of exploring. Honestly, just amazing. There aren't more random corpses scattered all over this sector. Never doubt me. Pay attention. Duty prevails. Oh. Uh, that's fine. We can fix that. Yes. Thankfully, just a fresh wound, not a full-on injury. Nice. Totally tubular domicile. Oh, 
ho, tea posers. Open the doors for us. Guide our way. Twist our way. We beseech thee. The edge of daybreak. The edge of daybreak. But I will grant none. Let the blood flow. I mean, sure, if you insist. We've got three sorcerers, we've got a pink horror, we've got a cultist leader, plus a sordid filler. Grant strats plus sergeant up first, position accordingly. are pretty well set up for an AOE. Yeah, let's go bold. And make sure Abby's clear. Soften him up with Adira. Might as well get zone set while we're at it. Yeah, annoying. But fine. OT set. Now the follow up. One out. And Cassia. Self buff. Cluster. Zone. Isn't this a job for the Serbs? And eyes open. Oh, lovely. Yeah, I think that cleared all the mooks. Debuff the big guy. We'll get Abby on him shortly. And trim a sorcerer. So, three left. Leader, demon, and sorcerer.
Let's focus down the casters. Bolter feels a lot more feeble now. Still fun to kick him around, though. Death to the weak! Just a minor setback. Dang, that thing hit me so hard it knocked my other computer offline. Behold the power of chaos! More seriously, though, uh, fresh wound on Abby. But nothing to worry about just yet. Let's pin this thing down. And we'll have... Uh, Val finish off the cultists momentarily. I will do my duty. At your beck and call. That's cool, bud. Just hold him. I bring ruin. All right, that's about enough of that, I think. On it. Point. Lead her down. And kind of a coin toss on this guy, but let's see. Eh, fair enough. That has got him. Oh, shoot. Never mind. She does not got it. She apparently has psychosomatic trauma again. Maybe a, maybe a psychic lashback effect I didn't notice last round. All right, well, uh, Cassie's got it, question mark? We'll do. Good effort. All right, Cass, you're up. Nope. And no, okay. Yeah, yeah, I guess I guess a sorcerer would have a pretty decent will, wouldn't they? The healing is much appreciated. There we go. Now the injury won't set. My goodness. Yeah, we, we've got to drop that sorcerer. He's just dragging this out.
All right, we've got double DOT, so he should be done. But just in case. As the Emperor commands, I act. Now he should definitely be done. Let's lay down some fire. for the weak. Ooh, that's not what I was going for. No injury, so we're good. Just need to heal it back off her. The main benefit of Force Distraction is that even if it doesn't stick, Argenta can now just walk away from that thing without provoking. Indeed. Sorcerer is out. We also uh, gained a level up. I didn't even notice. Nice. Oh, well. Uh, okay, now. Now she's probably injured. Here's my perfect moment. It's as good as done. Adir is still out, so we'll just do this. I know what is to come. This will help. Injuries will not slow me. And Cass, let's try this again. Emperor, give me strength. Okay, well, at least it's more than six. And pile on. I've suffered worse. Sorry, bud. I actually meant to go for the bleeding strike, but um, looks like you soaked it okay. Guided by faith. Another injury on Abby. Victory is imminent. Good thing we healed him earlier. Though I suppose not power axing him also would have helped. I'll 
I'll see to it personally. On it. Another enemy down. Nice. Oh, uh, never mind. We are not actually done yet. I thought we were, but it uh, turns out we blew it. Not me. I won't stand for it. The best defense is a good offense. Nice. Uh, less nice. Injury on Pask. Adira is back in. But can't top either of them. So they'll still have injuries after. Was was it you? Or worked again yeah that's just how we roll Argenta rushes to the last living cultist and silently furiously punches him in the face blaspheming heretic who are you praying to I know those words that call to a lord Argenta doesn't get to finish the cultist having dropped to his knees Interrupts her with grating, rasping laughter. Of course you know them. I recognize you too, lackey to the corpse on the throne. Haven't you already experienced the power of the true god? Didn't you flee from us, shedding tears? Argento recoils as if from a blow, but then steps forward, grabs the cultist by the scruff of his neck, and makes him look into her eyes burning like embers. I am one of the Adepta Sororitis, and I have never, not once in my life, fled from heretics and betrayers of humankind. Can't you see he's trying to get under your skin? Adira mutters. I bet he wants a quick bullet to the head instead of a bonfire. Despite her tone, she's looking around anxiously and rubbing her temples. Smells like a dark future, like a noose around the neck. Easy, Argenta. I've still got questions for this one. What do you want to know, servant of the Corpse Emperor? The names of my brethren? How many of us there are? Where they are? I will tell you myself. We are myriad, and we are everywhere. Soon, very soon, you will hear our voices. And when you hear them at your back so close you can feel our breath, then you will know the power of the true God. Just how many of you vermin are there? First strike at my Norris, now here. Pascal pulls a number of instruments out of his robe. You would bet your life that the purpose of these items isn't to disassemble machines. He says casually, should you encounter difficulties during the information extraction process, I would recommend precise targeting of ganglia. The cultist chuckles arrogantly, but pales under Pascal's calmly probing gaze. How do you know the sister? Just saw her around on footfall? Not on footfall, the cultist laughs hoarsely. In another place, she flew right in, like a bird into a snare. Argenta is staring at the cultist, her eyes wide. As if against her will, she whispers two words. Salus Prime. Argenta, what's going on? She snaps out of it, as if emerging from a reverie. A planet, a place, it doesn't matter. 
I know these heretics. I fought them and was gravely wounded. But I swear, I never turned from them and ran. She turns to the cultist, her eyes filled with cold fury. If you truly have seen me on Salus Prime, someone among you must know a way to get there. Do you have your own ship? A navigator? Answer me! Ships and maps, roads and doors. We have them all, but our paths are not for you. The true god spins his web, and you are but a fly caught in it. But where is the spider? The cultist's eyes fill with madness. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna need you to be like 27% less insane. Rogue trader, we won't get anything from this madman. As for my part in the story, I will tell it. But not here. Not in his presence. Fine. But who's this true god he keeps mentioning? You will know. In time. The cultist gives you a wicked smile, painted with the fresh blood on his lips. Fair enough. Guess I have no use for you then. Argenta? You can kill me, servants of the Corpse Emperor, but you can't stop the victory of the true god. The edge of daybreak is nigh, and the hour of his triumph approaches. Silence hangs for a minute. Then, Argenta turns to you and shrugs nonchalantly. That's it. We fulfilled Reverend Hieronymus's request, which means I am now free. I can continue my travels with you, rogue trader. Before we leave this den, let us round up what remains of the blasphemers. I would like to cleanse this place with purifying flame. But perhaps we can find clues that might tell us where these heretics came from, or if they have any more associates. Argenta lowers her head wearily. We need to talk, but it can wait. Let's meet on the ship when it's time to depart Footfall. Sounds like a plan. I'll pencil it in. About time we got to know her a little better anyway. All right, let's see what we got here. Plasma pistol, sure. Heavy leather, basically garbage. Improved armored body glove. Not terrible, but definitely a bit obsolete now that we've got two sets of sin skin. And cultist hood. When the wearer uses a psychic power attack, they either restore two action points or take 10 warp damage with a 50% chance of either effect. Ooh, risky, but very much in keeping with what you'd expect from heretical psychers. That's interesting. I don't think that was an early access. I think that's new. Ooh, though. Though the warp lore is probably more useful, more predictable. Oh, yes, and uh, let's patch those injuries before they set. But of course. There we go. Not bad. Actually got another decent fight. Dragged just slightly when we were whittling down the pink horror, but... Aside from that, I actually felt slightly challenged. Let's go ahead and sweep the rest of this layer real quick. Then I think we'll be at a good place to pause it. Operation successful. Sororitis Boots. The wearer raises momentum to 175 whenever they kill five enemies in a row in one turn. Yeah, not sure I really see us doing that anytime soon. Not now, anyway. 
Though to be fair, I think uh, I think Cass actually got pretty close. She dropped four. Is there money to be made? Okay, Cultist Slayer Claire. Which, yeah, I think brings us to a good place to call it. And uh, I've got to say, not bad. You know, a relatively story light episode, though we did get some I always some have movement a with plan. Argenta, at least. Not to mention cleared up the dregs of the Anvers. But I've got to say, I uh, I am very much enjoying the new difficulty balance. It, it does feel more satisfying. That said, we'll uh, hit the pause button for now. We'll take care of the usual off-screen bookkeeping. And we'll pick up here next time. See you then. Oh, and special thanks to the Raiders, the fine folks who help make these videos possible. Including, but not limited to, Revenant. Eloise, Croaking LOR, Dragon Matrix 7, Dracket, Theory V23, Egon Alter, Excelsior, Goatly, James Tremay, Kazor, Mark Jemza, Nathan Welch Jr., Overlord Ferrum, Random Passerby, Robbie B., Thomas Piedkowski, Trip Hop and Skip, and Valenrook. Thanks for your support, guys. That said, if you'd also like to help support the channel, then feel free to push the buttons that do the things. Trust me, it does make a difference. Or you could even check out the PayPal, the Patreon, the Nexus GG, or the YouTube memberships. Links are in the description. Let the blood flow!